What's going on guys, Black Scout Survival, and today I'm gonna to show you how to make a $5 shelter, uh, survival shelter or bug out uh, shelter kit. And uh, all you need is just a few items. You can put it in a bag just like this, you know, that way it's all contained. But you're gonna need duct tape, an emergency blanket, you can use the cheap Mylar, paracord and a trash can 55 gallon drum liner with these you know few you know really cheap items you can make a very good shelter that will uh, you know keep you warm and dry in a multitude of different uh, you know situations so let me put it together so the next thing is I'm just going to open up your bag and find the bottom of it And so this is the bottom there, and the open end is here. So what I'm gonna need to do, and this doesn't have to be pretty so I can fold it in half, I'm just gonna take, I'm, I got some, my Leatherman multi-tool trauma shears here, but you can use your knife and just cut this bottom portion off. And it doesn't have to be pretty, like I said, it doesn't even have to be even as close to even as possible and by doing this you're essentially going to be making a tube tent now that you've cut that hole you now have a tube tent like I said just run your paracord through and you know have it rigged through the tree already and this is pretty much you're gonna make your ridge line for this shelter okay now I have rigged this up through the tube you know the the trash can we made into a tube shelter I put a trucker's hitch on this side and just a bowline bowline on this side and I've got videos showing how to tie both of those knots the next thing you're gonna do is kind of situate it where you want it at then take your duct tape and this is single side duct tape here. I mean, not single side, but stuck to a piece of paper. So it's a flat pack, they call it. And what we're gonna do with that is you're just gonna tape up the top of this edge here to the line. That way, it stays in place. And you're just gonna kinda of run your finger across the top to make sure it, run your finger just across the top so you make sure that it is very on the line. And so now it's not gonna move there. So now we have the, the uh, shelter all put together. I just basically ran paracord through the inside of the shelter. And then I used tape like I did up here to keep it out. And I've used stakes. You don't have to use stakes. You can make your own in the field. But anyhow, I'm gonna get in the shelter and show you, but you see there's a little bit of room underneath it. It has a lot of room. So basically what that's for is to put debris under the shelter so you're not sleeping directly on the ground. It will give you insulation. You definitely want that in a uh, cold weather environment. So just pack as much debris, make sure there's no sticks or anything like that, but just like leaves and, and uh, pine straw and stuff like that underneath there and give you about, you know, good four to six inches uh, thick. So that's why this is up that high because it's going to be pretty thick. So also, if it is raining or something like that, you'll notice I put it at an angle so the head is higher than the feet. You can tape with that duct tape the whole front end closed. So you still have ventilation out here so you're not gonna suffocate yourself, but you can keep it pretty much waterproof as well or keep the bag uh, you know, together sealed up and just run the line through it and make a hole and just duct tape that hole up for waterproofness. Now also another thing that you can do is take the emergency blanket and wrap inside this top guideline here this ridge line and drape it through there so you have a complete 
waterproof, windproof shelter, and also have that 90% reflectivity of the Mercy blanket. But I'm gonna go ahead and get in here. And now, I'm just gonna go ahead and open up this Mercy blanket and show you just how easy it is to wrap this inside of it. Now you wanna have the whole, the doorways open because of the insulative, uh, you know, I mean the condensation building in here, the, it'll give it a breeze so you don't get wet. So now you see we've got the reflective mylar on one side reflecting that heat that's going to keep us warm so guys that was the five dollar bug out or survival shelter and you know survival shelters should be small and you know easily carried with you um this one you know depending on what bag you use and stuff like that you can actually wrap it down small enough to put in your back pocket so the thing is is that if you also get a fire out here, it will kind of simulate the uh, old Morse Kahansky super shelter because this side is, you know, open or doesn't have the uh, blanket on. So it'll reflect off that other side and, you know, keep you warm like that and reflect that heat to you and, you know, really bring the temperature up. This thing was so hot just a few minutes ago, I'm pouring sweat now. Uh, so, you know, definitely for very cold environments, but nonetheless, it's, uh, hopefully this is a tool that can help you. Please check us out on, uh, on uh, uh, blackscoutsurvival.com. Make sure you subscribe to our channel. We put out a few new videos every week. And as always, thanks for watching.